What's up guys? Chapter 3 roads have finally been added into creative mode, and so I'm going to show you how you can get them, and how these pieces can be used together. So if you do enjoy this video, and want to show some further support, my creator code is NovaJ. And a quick shout out to my YouTube members, the Stickman Army membership is now up, so feel free to check that out. Now let's begin the video. So as you may know, we haven't received any chapter 2 or chapter 3 roads in creative, and we're stuck using the old boring chapter 1 road pieces, until the recent update. As you can see we finally have chapter 3 roads and sidewalks to use, along with some new street deco. So first of all, the roads and sidewalks can all be found in the Chonkers Speedway Gallery. But this piece is from the new gas stations. We have parking spaces, crossroads, and other marked road pieces which we've never had before, and is really cool to finally have in creative mode. Now for the crops, they are only available on the Greasy Grove Templar Island, where you'll have to copy them from. However this new light post is in the Chonkers Speedway Crops Gallery. Traffic light is my favorite piece of them all, and they are all improvements over the previous versions of the crops. These are going to be so refreshing to use. Now that you know where to find these new road pieces, I've made a few examples of how you can mix these pieces together, so let's take a look. Here is the first build, it's a simple road design, along with some basic deco, and some nature and terrain to really show you how it would all look together. I including crossroads and made this to not only split the lanes, but to also make the road look a lot more interesting. It's a really simple build, which only uses these new pieces, but with some basic deco and other elements, looks really really good. For this build it simply just consists of this sidewalk piece, this new lamp, and these hedges. Fences separate the sidewalks from the nature. And overall really is an easy yet effective build. Now next up I want to show you two ways you can go about making your roads. Here are two road designs. This first road used this structure which I previously showed off, as well as blank road pieces. Whereas this road uses the parking space piece in a really creative way to separate the two lanes. Both of these builds are to show you that experimenting with the new pieces can really bring out some cool and interesting designs, rather than sticking to one thing. And here is this road without the deco for anybody who wants to see it. But it really is that easy to design roads using the new parts. And for the final build, I decided to use the new parking space pieces to show you how to build a cool realistic parking lot. First off I used both this parking space, along with the disabled space, and the no parking space, and based the whole design off of real parking lots. Along with that are lamp posts and fences around the main parking area. I'm really happy we can now make stuff like parking lots, without having to waste memory on primitive shapes or other props and a cross road can be found to safely cross along the sidewalk. I also used a bunch of the tips I previously mentioned to add more life to this build, whilst not using up that much memory. But overall it's super cool how many possibilities these new roads and sidewalks add to our builds, and I really hope to see people experiment with them to create some awesome roads for their maps. And that wraps up this video, you now know where the new road pieces can be found, and it's your turn to mess around with them. 